Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, I'm finally back from holidays and I can tell you honestly it did me even more than I expected. I feel fully recharged, really totally energized and extremely excited about the new upcoming projects. Especially now when we're ready to dive in into all these Halloween and holiday specials. But right now I still want to make one summer and holiday related doll. I want to make something very colorful, something very bright, fruit and summer related. And you know, normally I record these intros for my videos before I start working on a project. But this time I started working on this doll so long ago, really step by step, slowly. I don't know, I started probably somewhere in mid-July or something like this because I was really hoping to finish it up before the moment I would go on holidays. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I could finish just, I don't know, about 50% of the project. You'll see it soon in the video where my skin color gonna change a little bit from very pale and sad to some more a little bit, you know, tanned and pretty. Yeah, so I've decided to re-record the intro, otherwise the previous intro sounded a little bit like old news. You know, like it was me from some early July. And now, now it's again me, like relevant, real-time, real-life me, ready to continue working on my fruit bat doll. You know, I wanted to make the fruit bat doll for a very long time, and I have kind of two sources of inspiration for it. The first source of inspiration was an actual contact with the real-life fruit bat, or flying fox, I think it's the same creature. And you know, I was in total shock <laughs> because you know the, these creatures they are big they're really big fluffy they have huge wings so when you see them flying around it's like oh what kind of eagle is this and they're like no it's not an eagle these wings they're like leather made ah, and they have fluffy bodies what the hell is this so i was really seriously impressed but then i read about them on the internet i realized that they were actually absolutely friendly to human there was nothing to be scared of and I got actually very inspired of them. And then already a little bit later, while I was scrolling, watching all kinds of dolls online, I found these creatures. They're some sort of miniature figures. And I really love the idea of making a fruit bat with wings painted like some fruit. You can see they have watermelon, dragon fruit, grapefruit, orange, kiwi, all kinds of patterns on their wings. And I thought it was such a brilliant idea that I wrote it in my you know, list with ideas, making a fruit bat with fruit wings. And now it's finally, I feel like it was time to make one. And yesterday I've uploaded a little spoiler picture to my community tab here on YouTube. And I've seen from the comments that Alexis from Made You Look YouTube channel also made already fruit bat character. She's repainting herself. She's a special effect makeup artist. She's not doll makeover. I've missed this video somehow. I've subscribed to Alexis channel. And my first reaction was like, oh my god, I want to check it out immediately. But then a little bit kind of calmed myself down and I've decided to not check it out yet because right now I'm still quite kind of in the middle of the project. I finished already hair, face, body and the wings are almost finished. But I still have to make her outfit, accessories, all kind of tiny details. And I don't really want to get influenced by another artist. You know, I have already enough sources of influence. But anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to another talented artist who also got inspired by these beautiful fruit bat creatures. And of course, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, they're coming a lot of cool Halloween specials just in two weeks I think will be the first one. Of course support my art with your likes here on YouTube because nowadays YouTube algorithm doesn't really promote art videos that much and it's not just my channel it's and, and it's not even just doll channels it's really like art channels are not that I don't know popular or YouTube just doesn't appreciate them that much nowadays. Uh, nowadays what's like commentary channels, crime channels, uh, this kind of, you know, stuff is popular and art kind of seems to be less. So please help me fight this algorithm. 
Yeah, and this is it probably. Now I can finally start working on this doll. First it will be a short part of, of me working on this doll before holidays and then it will be like the most relevant content. So subscribe, like, uh, bell, all these things and I will start working. So this will be the model for our future bed. This doll has a smaller body type so I think it would be kind of cute if she will be such a tiny girl. So now let's undress, cut off, disconnect, remove everything that needs to be removed and disconnected and then we'll talk about her hair color. Okay, the canvas is clean, now let's give her new hair and I want to combine this pink and yellow glow in the dark hair. Actually, no, they almost don't give any glow in the dark, the effect is very subtle, but I really love how neon bright these colors are, so I think combining them together will give us, I don't know, some very happy tropical vibes. So first I'm covering her head with white acrylics, then I'm applying pink and yellow neon paint on top of it and then I will take my rerouting tool and I will plant the strands of new hair into the doll's head. Let's also add some pink hair into the middle. And then, yes, we are done. Her hair looks super bright. The colors make me very happy. Really 100% tropical vibes. So now let's add glue inside of the head. It will keep all this new hair on place and then I will let it dry completely. Well, and while the glue is drying, we can prepare her body. For this we have to sand off this glossy layer from the surface, from the top of the body. And then the next day, when the glue gets dry, I can spray both the face and the body with a couple of layers of light nude acrylics.
Okay, it will be enough. The rest I will do with soft pastels. And now let's seal the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. Then I will sketch her face with Carandash Supra Color watercolor pencils. And after this, we will work on her skin tone some more. I want to make my doll more tanned today, you know, she's a fruit bat living in a warm country, in a warm climate, so I want her to be less pale than most of my dolls are, yeah, I'm sorry, but this is the reality, so I'm using warmer and a little bit darker soft pastels today. Okay, now I think her skin tone looks really cute, so I can go back to the pencils and I'm going to draw the rest of her face. I want to give her very, very bright green eyes, juicy pink lips, so I just want her to be super cute and super colorful. Okay, now the face looks finished to me and we can blush her body to make it the same color like her face. And after this I think we will have to put this project on hold and go and enjoy my vacation. And yes, guys, here I am. Hello, back to business. Hello again, everyone. You can see the sun has blushed my own skin to match my skin tone to the doll's one. Happy to be back to this project. Was thinking about it all the time. So now we can continue. And first of all, we will make her bat wings. Then we'll make an outfit, all kinds of accessories. I tell you, I had enough time to think about it all. So, the wings I will make out of Warbler Thermoplastic. Oh gosh, I really missed my Warbler. It's such a joy to be back to it. So, I'm making basically regular bat wings, but keeping in mind that these sections of the wings, they're supposed to look like section of an orange slice.
Okay, this is it. The wings look already super cute. Now I need to make hole on the doll's back to be able to attach them. I don't know, I should have done it probably before painting the body, but uh, trust me, I was so stressed before my vacation that I really couldn't think about it. So anyway, I think I will be able to make it carefully without damaging the, the surface of the body. And yes, check it out, it worked out really well, no damage was done, the wings fit and look just perfect. So now it's time to paint them to look like an orange. And this is it guys, the orange bat wings are finished and they look absolutely gorgeous and super cute. I thought it looks like our little bat had stolen a slice of orange from someone's cocktail, split it in two and made wings out of it. Very cute, very juicy, very pretty wings, really love it. So now let's make an outfit. Check it out, I've kept this piece of silk literally for years, especially for this kind of a project, for something tropical and summer related. It's natural silk and the colors are just perfect, uh, bringing together orange, pink and yellow colors of the doll's hair and the wings. The only problem is that I have just a piece this big, really, it's a super, super tiny piece of fabric. So let's take it as a challenge and try making a super cute outfit out of this super tiny piece of natural silk.
And guys, check it out. This is what I've ended up making and also this is how much fabric I have left unbelievable I've used it up completely so I think I've pretty much succeeded in this challenge the outfit looks super cute it's very colorful it's really matching the wings and the hair color I've also made a pair of long socks to make it look kind of more finished and I want to pair this outfit with these yellow sneakers they always look super cute on Monster High dolls because they're kind of making their proportions even more cartoonish because the feet become even bigger than they are now so I think it's all gonna look very good together so this is it, the outfit is finished, look very good now we can move on to the accessories and now it's time to use my 3D printer and I'm going to print a bunch of tiny fruits I've missed my 3D printing routine as well, so I kind of wanted to use it immediately in this project to see if it still works after being left alone for 10 days. So let's print some fruits. And yes guys, everything is still good, the printer still works and it brought me a bunch of mini fruits, I actually don't need that many fruits but it's better to have some extra, so now let's wash, cure them and then we'll make a fruit hat piece for our bath. Okay, here are the fruits and I'm gonna start with making a hole in the bottom of this pineapple and I'm going to install a pin inside of it, fixing it with epoxy resin. This pin will help me to install the headpiece to the doll's head later and it will also be much easier for me to paint the entire headpiece. Yes, it looks good and very strong, so now let's use more fruits and I'm going to connect them together using epoxy resin as well. guys check it out this is where I'm going to stop with this fruit decoration it looks already super good to me and now I'm going to paint it with acrylics Okay, we're almost there, it's almost finished and now I just want to add a couple of flowers to it and then I think we're done. So this is it, I think it's finished, our fruit decoration looks 
super cute. I'm really happy about it. It looks super tropical and very, very pretty. So, and now I still want to make a pair of pink sunglasses to complete the look. And I'm going to start with making the frames out of a thin wire. Now let's put it on a piece of tape and then I'm going to make pink glass out of epoxy resin mixed with pink loose pigment. To add more resin to make the construction more strong because let's be honest now the glasses are super fragile guys and here are the finished sunglasses and I can tell you honestly I'm really proud about them because they look absolutely legit the glasses are not see-through but they're pink and they look like some pink candy so I'm really super happy and again I'm really even proud about them today so and now is the very last piece of a decoration I want to give her a large cocktail filled with tropical fruits I think I can start styling her hair and today I want to go for two buns on top of her head it would imitate the bat ears somehow and it will also make some base for this fruit decoration and afterwards I will give her some soft beach wave curls And this is it guys, this is where I've ended up with her hair, she looks super cute and super colorful. So now I still want to attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and after this we'll bring everything together and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures.
So here is my fruit bat doll and this is officially the most colorful doll I've ever made on this channel. I don't know, everything is her is just screaming tropics and summer and fruit. I know it's already autumn officially here, but it's still surprisingly warm in Belgium and you know, there are also blessed places in this world where it's summer all year around and there is also Australia, for example, they're just coming, getting into their best season. So I wouldn't stress too much about uploading this doll too late. It's never too late for a tropical fruit bat. And all together it looks just like an explosion of fruit and color. I don't know, I especially love the sunglasses because handmade doll glasses can often look, I don't know, chunky, clumsy, bulky because they're too tiny and they're placed right on her face so they get a lot of attention. But I think my pin glasses look legit and really cute and I think I should experiment some more in this direction. This outfit is also very cute and very colorful. I'm still in love with this fabric and with this print. The wings, they also look juicy and the headpiece goes perfectly with the hat style. So everything looks very cool and I'm very happy and very proud with the end result of my work today. I don't know guys, I hope you do as well. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts about this project are. I hope you're not disappointed because you had to wait for so long this time. So, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay. Please check out the link in the description box under this video if you think that this one might be for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, again, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Let's push it a little bit higher in this algorithm thing. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and prepare yourself for the Halloween specials. They're coming. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.